just a chilling morning. Some 50 shots fired at Republican congressmen two years ago as they practiced for the annual congressional baseball game. Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise was hit that day and taken away in a stretcher, leaving him hospitalized for six weeks and enduring multiple surgeries over the past couple of years. The long road to recovery has not stopped him from serving his country in, the pro in Congress, and it certainly didn't stop him from playing in the game of baseball. Last year, he made that incredible play in the first play of the game at second base. Everybody cheered and hugged him. Here's a live look tonight at the congressional game that is going on right now. Before the game, just a short time ago, I spoke with House Minority Whip Steve Scalise. Watch. Congressman, welcome. Uh, great to see you tonight. What are your thoughts on, on how far you've come from last year to this year? Well, Martha, great to be back with you. And uh, wow, what a difference a year makes. You know, obviously two years ago, uh, it was uh, it was touch and go even if I was going to make it. Then last year, I got to actually come back out and play the game, and that was incredibly special. But I really didn't have much movement. Today, you know, I can move a lot better. I'm, I'm still using one crutch for a lot of things, but uh, you just keep getting better every day. Feel great. You know, going to be able to go out there and play in a big league ballpark tonight. How, how much better does it get than that? Well, I, I guess for your team, it would get better if they won, right? Because the Democrats have a pretty good record. I think they've won nine out of the last ten. Is that right? Well, I'm not worried about the past, Martha. It's our <laughs> time. Tonight's going to be our night. We're going to deliver a victory. All right. So, you know, there, there's something else going on tonight as well, which is the first of the big Democrat debates. Um, and it may work to your favor that a couple of the, the players that often play on the team are actually going to be on the debate stage tonight. So we have some of their stats that we're going to put up on the screen. Um, Tim Ryan has a, is a pretty good baseball player. Um, He's, I guess, played in eight games, and he has about a 500 batting average. I'm not so good with these numbers. Um, Eric Swalwell is not there tonight, but uh, Beto O'Rourke is, but he doesn't seem to have a, as good a record. How much of an advantage is it for you guys that there's a big Democrat debate tonight? Well, it's too bad Cedric Richmond didn't run for president on the Democrat <laughs> side tonight. But, uh, you know, look, they, they've got two stages worth of, you know, there's like 50 people running for, for president on their side. Uh, the bottom line is they're moving so far left in socialism. Uh, that's not where our country is. It's a center-right nation. Donald Trump's done a great job of getting the economy back on track, making government work for hardworking families who just gave up. Uh, it's He's going to have a great story to tell. Let him go and fight to see who wants to be the most far-left socialist tonight. All right. Um, so obviously tonight is a night other than that to, you know, put all that aside and play baseball against each other. And I know that you still are eternally grateful to the people who saved your life on that baseball field that day and in the hospital. Are any of them there tonight with you? Yeah, in fact, a lot of them are. You know, David Bailey, who was my uh, team lead that day for Capitol Police, who risked his life, got shoot during the shootout. He's here. I think Crystal Griner might be here tonight later on. Uh, of course, she was also hit, uh, shot by the shooter. She kept going at it. She came back to work. Both of them came back to the police force after being shot that day. What does that say about the kind of heroes they are and the sacrifices they make? Brad Wenstrup, my colleague from Ohio, who really put the tourniquet on that saved my life so I could make it to the hospital. Hospital. Uh, he's here on the field playing with me tonight. It's just, look, so many heroes, a lot of miracles that day, too, as you know. And um, I'm, I'm lucky to be alive, and, and thank God for that. Well, I, I will never forget when we did uh, the first interview with you when you came back uh, to work. And, you know, as you say, it was so touch and go there. And um, I'm sure it makes you more grateful for every minute of life, having been through what you've been through. And we're all grateful that you are doing so well. And good luck tonight. Good luck to both sides, and we'll be watching. Thank you, Congressman. Thanks. It'll be a lot of fun. Appreciate the interest, and uh, God bless America. You bet. Thank you, sir.